Out here on a ride. Done a 130k. We're heading down. This is the Corona days here in Adelaide, Australia. Do the vest. This is PG rated, mate. PG rated. And um, basically, the question is how to get into cycling. How to get into cycling. Um, sorry, how to get into running if you're a cyclist. This person's written me, ex-cyclist. Look, I'll be honest with you straight up. Nobody's an ex-cyclist. Never. If you can physically ride, you never want to quit the bike. All right, the bike is the freedom machine. I use bike transport. I use bike exploring. I use bike to clear my mind. That is the bicycle is a transformative tool. Everybody, if you physically can, needs to ride a bike. So, I recommend cross training with running. All right, this, this whole thing of like. I'm an ex-racer, I'm this, I'm that, I'm this. The people change their doing. Oh, no, 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 rest of the mind. They sell everything, get rid of everything. It's like, come on, man. That's extreme, man. Let's have a little bit of a, a middle ground there, right? So uh, I still race, you know. I'll, I'll race anyone, anytime. You want to race me? Let's go race in the bike pack, track. I'll, I'll, fucking, I'll, I'll race. I'll race anytime, anywhere, anyone. I love to race. I love competition. I love that hard workout. So I'll, 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 I'll race forever. I'll never stop racing, you know. You don't have to have a UCI license, drive 400 k's, jump on a plane, travel here to do, go and do some race to be a racer. If you race from A to B, you're a racer. You race on Strava, you race on Zwift, you race on the, the old dudes on the bike path and knock them into the woods, you're racing, all right? You're racing. Racing's pacing, it's tracing. It's ace. Racing is ace. All right, my rap career's not taking off. Let's get into the, the crux of this video. Uh, you want to cross train. You want to jog 30 seconds a day, all right? And then add 10 seconds a day. You know, ease it up for a week. Then, so you're doing 30 seconds a day. And then next week, 40 seconds a day. And then 50 seconds a day. And you build it up over the year, all right? But what people do is they go out and do a 5K or a 10K. They go, they go read Marathon Man, stink up, can't dink hunters as, eating pizza during a 100-mile run. They go, I'm going to go and do that. And they get an ACL tear. And they go, oh, running's not for me. Let me go and do... CrossFit and they bulge a disc. Like, people, you only have one body. Imagine if you only had one bike. All right? Imagine if it's the only bike I'm ever going to have. I'd be like, have a security guard next to me. You know? So you only have one spine, one head, one set of knees, etc. All right? So look after them. Ease into the running. Ease into things. All right? And uh, I recommend starting 30 seconds a day. You know, even just a jog to the letterbox or a jog just down the street. You know, a six minute K pace or a 10 minute K pace, whatever, just to get the, the legs turning over. You know, anything is better than nothing. 30 seconds a day. The thing is, people's ego goes, oh, I can't, be, I can't do that, I've got to do a lot. And they want to get quick and fast real soon. And then they get a hip injury or a labial tear or ACL or, you know, the, the lumbar issue. It's just, come on, ease into things. And the cost of the bike is awesome because the bike is low impact. And it's got your head down and bang in the back of a parked car. Always pay attention on the road, gang. Don't go too fast downhill, please. All right, you only have one body. And so, you, okay, cost training, man. Cost training. This is real-time video, all right? People, physios aren't going to talk like this. The chiros aren't going to talk like this. Actually, some might. Oh, my mate Jens would. But you've got to look into yourself and uh, go, what's your goal? And if it's fitness, bicycle, running is good, though. I love to run. You know, run at least 30 seconds a week. At least. I always try and do a 30-second run once a week you know, ideally a 5k park run but since park runs been cancelled because of the corona paranoia um we we have uh, no park runs at the moment so i'm doing my 30 second jog here and there okay so that's what ease into it what shoes i've done vid lots of videos on shoes just go search my channel uh, i would recommend two types of shoes the ultra escalante fantastic shoe and then probably the cream of the cream vegan cream nike next percent Un real shoe all right have those two in your rotation the ultra escalante and the nike next percent make sure your shoe has enough girth and width for your toe and at least a thumb width at the end all right if your shoes are too small you're going to be doing damage to your little metatarsal bones and your joints and your ankles and then you get older it's more pain and your life quality goes downhill all right so you just screw fashion always go function have your shoes that plenty of room at the foot at least a toe between your tip of your toe to the end of the shoe okay otherwise you're going to be in uh you're in trouble town okay i'm age 42 for me to jump on a bike any day any day of the year and do a 200k ride is a piece of 
piece of uh, vegan beef jerky, you know, it's just so easy. Just because I look after myself, all right? Look after yourself out there, stay hydrated, stay carved up, get the sleep, get the sunshine, get your daily activity. Don't do too much. How much too much? Depends, isn't it? Depends, it depends answer. I like that one. It's, if you're just getting into stuff, you need to do less. If you're experiencing season, your body can handle more, all right? Always on the, uh, on the side of less training, more food, more carbs, less fat, more sleep, less coffee, more upbeat thoughts, less rainbowed nonsense, all right? So, yeah, think of the good things. More carbs, less fat, never be hungry. And uh, vegan, man, vegan makes life real easy to be lean, I'll tell you what. You know, look at me, I've got a little lollipop head. The next is like, sucked in already. One ride, <laughs> one ride my body transforms into praying mantis mode. It's, it's hilarious, man. So I, I just can't believe how many people struggle with their weight. They starve themselves, and the thyroid slows down, they cut the carbs even more, and they're just like, man, what are you trying to do? You know what I mean? What are you trying to do? It's like complaining cars can't see and you're wearing black helmet, black jersey, black bike, like, no lights. Like, come on, man. Rock some high vis. Common sense. So that's how you get into running, is just ease into it, go slow, and uh, enjoy yourself, and, uh, and do, watch a few videos on posture as well. Running posture is really... Really important for injury prevention, but also performance. You can get free speed, the same effort. All right? Posture is really big one. That's why I got a lot of my free speed. That's why I run you know, sub 17 for 5K most days of the year, or at least sub 7, 17, 30 any day of the year. Just going good form and thinking I'm a Kenyan. Bit of grandiose delusion, never hurt anyone. Hopefully that helps. Ease into the running. Stay on your bike. Do 50Ks a week, 10Ks a week, 100Ks a week. Just Tick the legs over, use your bike for transport, put shopping bags on it or your backpack. Use the bike. The bike is the transformative tool. Nobody's next cyclist. Your next cyclist, I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you, mate.